In this recording, we're going to look at producing flood maps within InfoWorks ICM. There are two types of flood maps we can do in InfoWorks. One, looking at the coloration of individual elements within a 2D zone. And the second, looking at the overall inundation within the model as a whole. It's the second of those two examples we're going to look at in this tutorial. Let's start by opening a model into the InfoWorks ICM GeoPlan. Here we can see a river section uh, shown in the centre of the view and a small urban area to the northeast. The whole area is covered by a 2D zone that will act as the floodplain if the river goes into a flood situation. To show flood depths over the whole model, we use a flood theme and we pick that up from the properties and theme menu on the GeoPlan by doing a right click. Take the horizontal and vertical scroll bars and go right to the bottom of the screen where you will find there's an item titled flood. Press the edit button to start to create the overall theme for your flood map. We'll add in a brand new theme. We'll give it a name of flooding. And then we need to add in a definition of the type of flood depth picture that we're going to draw. We can just fill up areas with our chosen color, draw lines. And if we have layers from GIS, we can make them show through as transparent layers in the overall view. We're just going to go for a basic field depth. Choose the number of um, options you would like for your color variation. So I'm just going to go for 10 themes. And let's choose a blue color to represent the color of the water. So by default, it's just chosen a random set of colors. So we'll go for light blue as our minimum depth and a dark blue as our maximum depth. And then use the auto theme button to select the overall range of colors. And as we keep pressing the auto theme button, it'll scroll through different variations until we reach the one we want, which is a gradually varying range from light blue to dark blue. Once we have that theme available, press apply, press OK, and OK once more to remove the GeoPlan properties and theme dialog. We can now see in the center of the screen at the beginning of our simulation at time t equals zero, the river has a little bit of water in it. If we now play the uh, simulation through from the start to the finish, we'll see that the river starts to fill with water initially. We'll see there's a little bit of flooding in and around the urban area. And then as the storm progresses, the river eventually fails on one of its two banks and water starts to accumulate in the floodplain. And then eventually, a little bit later, further water spills out from the other side of the river and heads up in a northerly direction until eventually the entire model is completely flooded with water. Here we're seeing representations of the depths in both the 1D and 2D elements. Got 2D data being pulled from the 2D zone and the 1D depths in the river being pulled from the river section data.